1982 Peterbilt 362. That's the first year of the 362. It replaced uh, the Model 352, which was a little lower and a little older looking. This has a lot more modern cab, a little taller, better visibility. It's got a big cam, four 400 Cummins with a 13 single overdrive transmission with 355 gears. We put a Peterbilt low leaf suspension under it to get the rear end down for pulling step deck because we pull some really tall freight. Uh, we stretched it out to 270 inches. Uh, it was originally 185 inches when my dad had it. Uh, they wanted a shorter wheelbase then for hauling steel in Chicago. Getting around the city, they wanted a shorter wheelbase with a taller cab. That's why the 362 was so popular with the steel haulers, especially in uh, Chicago and Gary around that area. So my dad originally bought it in the latter part of 1981 from Peterbilt to Waukesha. Uh, I rode in the truck a lot, skipped a lot of school, went all in steel and went all over with them. Uh, my dad sold it in, traded it into the international dealer in West Bend, Wisconsin around 1987. Uh, conventionals were just becoming pretty popular then and uh, he had ordered two new internationals and uh, he took a burgundy one and I took a teal green one and uh, we drove them and never really thought about the truck, it was just a piece of equipment and I recently just uh, obtained the truck after uh, it had a couple other owners uh, for the last 19 years, a gentleman, Mark Neighbor, had it uh, that lives uh, not too far from me. Uh, he was leased on the inway and uh, just decided to get out of trucking and I was lucky enough to get my hands back on the truck. He sold it to me that day over lunch hour. He went and got the title and I went and got the money and we started refurbishing it and uh, stretched it out and painted and tried to get it ready for the Super Rig show. in it but we ended up doing everything except the cab paint in our shop we stretched it and did the interior and we've done everything to it ourselves now we had that custom built it's 24 inches deep and we had the edges kind of feathered out to match the roundness of the cab so it didn't look real square on there you can't get the truck too low uh, with the three leaf springs that are in it so I, I ordered a two foot deep bumper to kind of give it the low look the interior was kind of a tan color and we've been slowly just reupholstering it in a black carbon fiber look and then uh, our upholstery guy is uh, putting diamonds in it so it looks like it's diamond tuck so we're about halfway done with that and uh, we'd like to put a nice stereo in it and really see if we can get that stereo to sound because we got so much room in that big bunk back there it takes some really nice uh, bass boxes and stuff in there so I think that'll be cool if we can get that done yet. Yeah. I've been trucking now for, this is my 27th year, started when I was old enough to get my CDL when I was 21. Uh, my parents owned a couple trucks and had one sitting and uh, when I was 21 and got my CDL, my dad said if you want a truck so bad, uh, take this old 77 cab over Pete up to St. Paul and unload my load. And he knew a little better than I did, it was a floor load of about 10,000 little Chinese dish sets for Amway that had to get hand unloaded. So he set me up with a good one right off the bat. And uh, I enjoyed it from my first trip on. I had no air conditioning, I had no power steering, uh, and a 77 cab over Pete, and uh, I've just been doing it ever since. Uh, supporting my family and going to truck shows, and uh, we like building cool trucks, and we got some really neat stuff out of our shop in the last 20 years. Blue Leasing is a trucking company uh, that we started on our own about 15 years ago. Uh, we have some owner operators that uh, are doing lease purchases with us and we have our own authority and we have uh, a lot of our own accounts. We're a Department of Defense carrier and uh, we have some pretty good accounts. We have reefers, dry vans, step decks and RGNs and flatbeds as well uh, running all 48 states. 
Uh, just running about 25 trucks right now, just trying to have some decent freight and uh, selective on our drivers and uh, like to run nice equipment up and down the road.